All right, so it's Monday morning. We're out here. We're about to crush an arm workout. Um, camera's really close to me, but basically what's going on is we're gonna get in there. We're gonna absolutely annihilate our chest, our arms, our back, our feet. Let's go! I'm from the Great White North, right? Like up above the state? Yeah. The big landmass that the rest of the world hates? If your waist begins with a two, eat. You want a one-way ticket to happen to hide a C? Headbutt that. Yeah, we finna get this money, you know? Still. <laughs> Shut up. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. Have a nice you day. too. What's up, Colossus Army? All right, so we're gonna make this video a little bit of a topical video and go into our lifting. This is a question I've had a lot myself, so I kind of pushed myself to research it. I was just sick. I had some crazy virus. It wiped me. It's tough. It was a little more severe. It's obvious I couldn't work out. But a lot of people, and myself included, wonder when it's okay to work out and when you probably shouldn't be working out. Your rule of thumb and your guide are gonna be if your symptoms are above the neck. If they're above the neck, you're usually okay and then you should be good. So that's something to consider. Now this doesn't mean you can go in and give it a thousand percent, kill it and just decimate. You gotta lay back a bit and go a bit more on the moderate side of what you would do. So if I were to sprint that day, I was doing sprints, maybe it's better for me to do a slow jog or a walk, tone it down a notch, lower your weight. But the positives of this are you can actually, in fact, potentially open your nasal cavities. All right, so some of the symptoms you guys will actually be okay to work out with are nasal congestion, sore throat, runny nose, and a little bit of sneezing. Now, if you experience any of these symptoms, you should probably stay away from working out. These are listed as chest congestion, upset stomach, hacking cough. Needless to say, if you're puking or anything like that, you should also stay away from working out. If you feel like crap, you might want to slow it down. You really got to pay attention and you'll personally know if you can make it in there. Keep in mind a lot of the time the battle is more mental than physical. A lot of people like to use the woe me complex and give themselves excuses to why they can't make it. Think of why you can, but make sure you're doing it within reason. Let's get to the gym. Go work out, bro. <laughs> hey! So sometimes when you go to your audition, you want to just leave immediately and make them want you. We need a quote of the day. We're gonna go with, uh, don't stop when you're tired, stop when you are done. What's up y'all, coming in strong with the voiceover. All right, so this was our, my rather quote unquote sick workout. So we're going for four sets of six on the squats. Um, I just want to start by talking about form before I talk about sickness and everything. This angle really sucks. If you guys ever want to look real awkward in the squat, you should be a little bit off center with your filming from low. Uh, there's obviously some issues here with Kyle's squat and mine. There's little micro fixes. As you can see, his right pelvis is coming up a little bit faster. He's shooting his hips higher, and he's also driving his knees in a little bit more than, like, than I would like and than he would like and also he could probably do better to pull that bar against his back to make sure he's keeping nice and tight and upright. Alright, so now for me, coming in the front angle, uh, I'm really awkward walking out, it's something I need to work on, I look like I'm going to kill myself every time, but yeah, so for me there's some things I definitely like to work on as well, I'd like to stay tighter, I'd like to work on my posturing. Especially as I tire, you guys will see the form starts to get a little bit compromised, a little bit of bending, I don't want to strain my lower back. But when you're sick like this, you got to battle through. I only got five. Kind of disappointed, but all in all, I'm pretty happy I put up because it was not an easy feat. Buddy, that bar's about to snap, eh? This bar is bad. You weren't kidding. Now, Kyle's got a really good drive. If this guy needs to get reps, he puts up. It's something I really commend him for. It's something I really need to work on. I need to work on my endurance and my sets, but like I said, when you have that mindset, 
When you're sick, you can either make a lot of excuses and just come in and completely tank, skip your workout, but when you're ready, you really just got to kind of throw yourself in the fray. Uh, not always start with squats and deads, but we don't have much of a choice with our upcoming comps. As you can see here again with this awkward angle, I look like I'm shooting a bit on the right. It's very hard to tell, but uh, more than anything, I just think I need to work on that posturing. That's dry. <laughs> How you feel, bro? Tired. Very tired. Takes your breath. You just went super saiyan, fam. 100. 9,000. All right, now for the deads. Um, this went okay, I guess. Honestly, like, I should be able to pull this on snap. I'm not sure I did normally get an easy 10 reps, which I did, and I'll probably say in about two seconds. Was it slipping? Are you kidding me? Huh? I'm gonna call myself five reps. Was it slipping? It's supposed to do six. No, it is a bench bar. All right, look. so basically, you can see it pattern in my hand. So this is a bench bar, and uh, the knurling's really weird, like this, was digging right into our back for squats, so it was not the most comfortable thing. We got 500 for nine. Dead soft last week. Just happens when you have to deadlift after squats. <laughs> and then for Kyle, he comes in. Uh, this is something really good cool for you guys to see. See pulls, get some decent pulls. But he's pretty good at knowing himself. And he just wasn't feeling it today either. I think he was a little under the weather as well. Which basically said I'm done. He just calls it. I'm done. Alright, now for this one, more or less, same thing. Hit five again. Came up short everywhere, but I finished all my sets, which is pretty much priority. Doing touch and go, just play with it. I don't, dead stop's not a problem with me. I find I just get bored, if anything. So sometimes I'll just mix it up when I'm tired of my grip slipping. Especially when you're using a dang bench bar. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that. It's a piece of crap. It bends so much. <laughs> now, as you can see, Kyle could have called it a day. But he decides to come in slaying, and he's going to do what he can. And he gets one more solid pull. He just gets a nice quick pull. Just to do a little extra on him, just so he's not slacking. Sorry, he's filming a documentary. I'm a famous Kudo player. <laughs> uh, can I get a, a regular Funky Monkey? You gotta get the Funky Monkey, funky bro. Funky Monkey, bro. With the protein booster, please. Funky Monkey, Funky Monkey, Funky Monkey. Look great, right here. What do you have to say about this? Three bucks for that piece of crap. <laughs> you paying three forty nine for a gluten free non GMO friggin' meal. Piece of crap. Don't go out there buying a bunch of gimmicky crap. The next big supplement, the next big fat loss pill. Just go out there. All you need is friggin' food, some water, a work ethic, baby. This smoothie. It's like crap. The girl that made it did a horrible job. Shout out to her for serving me watery almond milk. I could visualize myself scoring a goal before I didn't kick the ball, that would score while it worked. I've continued to use this method, so when I try. Call me hey.